Hi guys! So I think I should do this every once in a while, which we'll, we'll, we will call, like, what should we call this? Pickup? Chat? I don't know. I'm trying to focus you guys because you guys are like really crooked. Hope you guys don't hear the aircon very much. I kind of turned it down so you guys won't be able to hear it and it won't bother you. But let's see. We should, we should call this um, pick up chat because I'm picking up Anthony and my sister and I pick them up like every other day sometimes. Maybe not even that much. That's why um, I want to start doing this every once in a while. Let's see. Today, I practically just stayed home, edited the vlog. Um, I did some important things I need to do online. Um, so I was like activating things and like just business things honestly I was doing those things all day which honestly take forever to do I was trying to figure out how to get my phone to work um, because yesterday I never told you guys this but my phone broke and I'm using my sister's phone her old phone the screen was falling off but you could still like still use it it was still usable and then all of a sudden it just kind of went black all of a sudden so like I couldn't use it but I knew it was working and so like I just took my sister's phone because she recently got um, a new phone so I took her old phone her whole her old iPhone and um, which is the one I'm on right now and I was like well maybe I can fix my old phone because like it ha it's activated and I really need that phone number <laughs> so I was just like um, and I tried fixing it and I actually got it to work like I got the screen to come back on except while I was like messing with it I squeezed the screen too tight and it just made the screen go like completely black so we're to the point where I need a new screen so like okay well that's not fixable anymore so I just decided to unblock my sister's phone um, so I went through the process of unblocking it last night and then today and then I was trying to figure things out so that's just what I was doing today honestly and um, I was taking care of the babies cleaning up a little bit doing some laundry um, and yeah I'm really praying about this new job that I want um, I'm I want to work at a retail store and many people are telling me not to do that I feel like I can work there for a little bit because I will enjoy it which a lot of people tell me I will not enjoy like I will hate I will hate working there but I feel like I'll enjoy it because I know myself and if I don't like I can quit and look for another job or something um, but I just kind of want to get like yeah. I just feel like for right now, I feel like I need to build a little bit of like work experience and so I need just need like a little job for like a year I think and um, then I can move on and like try to work somewhere. But I don't know, I'm, I'm just, that's where I'm leaning towards right now. Um, so hopefully I get this job at the end of the month. I think they have like the, the interviews at the end of the month. Um, so I hope they contact me back and so I can go and work a little bit I feel like I need to get out of the house I feel like I'm tired of being home all the time um, and like honestly like I would love to be home but I'm too broke to be home you know does that make sense like I need to be doing something because I'm not making anything out of anything so um, I, I do make a little bit off of YouTube and the little bit that I make I mean I've only made I think I've made $13 off of YouTube so far um, and of course that's like in a matter of like two or a year I've made $13 which is like not a lot I've made a lot more than what I had been making I used to make $5 off of YouTube like um, my whenever my one year hit um, I was only at like $5 and then I grew a little bit after that and that's what raised me up to like $13 so um, but honestly it's not enough to like like do stuff I feel like if I were a stay-at-home mom I would want to like go out and do things not not necessarily like expensive things but I would want to go out and like you know go to the park and like buy food and honestly you guys I'm so broke right now I don't think you guys understand how broke I am so I just really 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 need a job um, and honestly like nobody wants to accept me because I have like no work experience and um, so I'm just struggling to find a job and people that I've talked to are like well you should just like apply here and apply there like and I'm just like I don't know if I can do that so I don't know it's kind of difficult right now because I'm just trying to take it slow 
but yeah, I want it to come so fast, and I'm just like, um, like I want it, I want to be there, but I have to, like I know inside of me, like I have to just take it slow. It's like a step so that I can find what job I really, really want, and um, and that I like, and that I enjoy doing. And of course, every, anyone who yes, I don't think anybody enjoys their job. Honestly, like I was talking to this, I, I know this girl. And she like works at like her like maybe like not her dream job but a job that she likes she she likes but she's always complaining about her job and I always see this this about people like like I was talking to some some people and they're like well you're gonna hate it and you're gonna hate it and you're gonna and you're gonna complain about it and you're gonna hate it and blah 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 and I'm just like well you complain about your job and you're supposed to be working the job that you enjoy doing but you always complain about it. Like, I always hear people complain about the jobs that they enjoy doing. So I'm like, at any job, you're gonna complain about anything. So um, I'm just, you know, I don't know. I'm trying not listen. I'm trying not to listen to like the voices too much because I know what I'm supposed to be doing. And um, so, but yeah, that's just what I'm doing right now. <laughs> this is too much. Is this too much for like a chit chat video? I don't know. Um, if you guys enjoy these times, let me know because I wait forever in these lines and I really I don't know it's like a good time to update you guys maybe throughout my weekly vlog um, so yeah I don't know what else to say so what's it called oh like I was saying I feel like like right now I'm so broke and I feel like maybe you guys look at me and you guys feel like well I have a car and I have a phone and I have a house and I'm so thankful for those things you guys do not get me wrong I'm so thankful because I have a car to ride I have a house a roof under our you know heads or a roof above our heads gosh I'm so dumb a roof above our heads I'm so thankful for that I'm so thankful for supportive family but right now like if something could get a little better it'd be like the financial part of our part um, so I'm hoping I can you know get a job and um, you know if I get a job I can buy things to do like YouTube videos on and um, I can like start buying things and I can start doing things that are more fun for my YouTube videos and more fun for my kids and so yeah so I, I don't know I'm just rambling on way too much so that's it for this pickup chat thing I don't know <laughs> let me know what you want to call it we just crack up with the baby back there I did four Oh, is this your school? Your oh, are we the first ones here? Where's your, where's your? There's your seat. We'll see, you wanna sit down? Mm. Sit down. What are we here for? For the party. For this reading thing, I don't know. <laughs> We're the only ones here though. Guys, I'm translating at his school for this reading thing. So that's what we're doing here. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like over here. Turn it around. No. I don't think it goes there. Hey guys, so sorry that it's kind of dark outside. We are just now getting out of um, the little class thing. And it was just talking about like what he needed. Oh, that's the next one. Okay, what he needed to do, what we need to do with him at home um to read to them and like things like that i was just over that but um i talked to his teacher and did a little update over um anthony today and i was so proud um about like she just told me how great he was doing and how much better he was doing of course like he has a little bit of like what's it called of course he's not perfect but he's doing really good, which is awesome. And she told me that she was just so proud of him because he's doing so great. 
and I was just really proud of him and I don't know like I'm I'm a proud mom right now because I like I was like editing that video I'm like do I really want to put it up do I really want to put that video up? because it is such a hard video to put up you're like t you're like pressuring telling people what you're gonna do for your kid like discipline wise and um you know it's it's hard because you, you're like exposing yourself to everyone and I was like telling you guys I'm like do I even want to tell them this that like I'm gonna discipline him and this is the way that I want to do it and I was like do I even want to tell them this and um, it just shows to like it just goes to show that discipline is so important in a child um, of course not not spanking them like I didn't spank Anthony it was just like hard like you're not gonna go have fun today um, you're gonna just you know like it was just it feels so rewarding to me as a parent because at the moment it's not fun like disciplining them it's not fun for me to discipline him I don't have fun doing that and it breaks my heart disciplining my own child but it also the reward of of it is so much greater than than you know what you can imagine you know whenever your teacher was like there was like an instant change whenever I called you and he got um, you know you did what you did and there was an instant change and it just made me feel good as a parent of course because like you know like it's it's just rewarding so I'm thankful for that he's he did really great in school his teacher said that he did great so that's awesome but we're gonna go now we're, we're stopping at a soccer game to watch my sister's boyfriend play so um, we're gonna go do that and we're gonna have some fun so okay guys so this is something from last week that I didn't capture and I want to definitely capture um, for Anthony to remember for me to remember um, excuse the horrible line lighting we're actually getting ready to go to bed and we're just reading a few books um, but this is Anthony's first library book that he chose last week um, and isn't it such a pretty book um, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking like what made him pick this book and I'm pretty sure maybe he just chose yes, it, it. Does. I'm pretty, it I'm pretty have sure a title. it does have it on the side huh it yeah. says my light but still like what made him choose this book in particular and I was like sitting here and asking him and I like like I said he probably just chose it maybe because he liked the color or something but I'm gonna read it for the first time to him which is kind of crazy I know right last week was just kind of like my funk week I don't know what I was going through it was just like a funk this one. but uh, we're gonna read this right now and we're gonna see how it um, we like it, but Anthony, that was your first book. That's your first library book. And then we had to take another one home. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just so emotional today. Like I went to a mommy, thing, mommy, and it was so good. Mommy, if we if we keep taking him back and then taking him back to our school and then back home, then that means if we keep doing that, we get to take another one home but we have to return that yes, one yes you're right and we can't color on a book no we can't you're right um he did say in the vlog though last week you guys heard him say that he got a library book today and how he was excited and that was like l friday of last week and we're just finally getting around to it and it's tuesday but um just wanted to just wanted to capture that on camera and this girl and her thumb you need to stop sucking that thumb it's not funny Aaliyah. don't put it in your no I don't know what it is, you guys. I'm just kind of like trying not to stress over it. But hey, you don't hit me. Don't hit me. No. So we're going to read it now. And I just wanted to capture that online. Diddy, have a hug. Oh, whatever. It's because the camera's on now, huh? Um, <laughs> mommy. Yes. I want ugly. <laughs> You're ugly? <laughs> You're ugly? <laughs> What are you saying? You're hungry? Yeah. I think so. No, just hug me. Just hug me. Hug me. <laughs> are you laughing or crying? I don't know. I don't know if you're laughing or crying. Crying. You're crying? Yeah. Look at her hair, guys. So long. Look at that. Mommy. Yeah. Uh, uh, You're hungry? Yeah. Okay.
You guys, everyone is napping. Except Leah, and she better get the thumb out of her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Ruby knocked out on the floor. The baby knocked out on the bed. And Leah's the only one awake. Like, please. Yo, I found this girl that vlogs in Arizona, and I forgot. Hold on, I'm gonna look up her name. You see that? She's knocked out. <laughs> what are you doing? Who brought this? I think this is old Aaliyah from like last night, so. You don't need a bottle. You're too grown. I think her name is Tal Talika. Talika? Talika? I'm not sure. Um, Deshay. Um, but I freaking love her. Like, I've been obsessed with her lately. Um, <laughs> I think I found her like a few days ago because I'm like, yo. Oh. Can you calm down? Aaliyah, stop. Um, I found her a few days ago because I was like, I'm like, what do I do? Like, what do I vlog? <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to <laughs> You just banged your... Okay, I was talking about, I was like, what do I like want to record? And I was like, you know what? I know what like what's new in the beauty world because I follow like all these beauty people. So I'm like, I know like like what's up in the beauty world. And whenever I want to make a video, like it's something that I can like come up with like in a, like an instant. Like if somebody wants me to do a beauty video, shoot, girl, I'm right there. But honestly, <laughs> you're choking me. You're choking me. Um, but honestly, when it comes to like mom vlogs and like kids videos and stuff like that, I'm like not in the loop because I don't watch that many families. Like the only family that I watch is Ellie and Jared and Bonnie, which is like Ellie's sister. And then like, uh, like the rest of their family. I think the other one is, um, What's her name? It's called A Passengers, their channel. Um, I just totally forgot her name right now. But those are the only, like, families that I watch. And they're very family-oriented, you can say. Like, they have their life together. And, of course, like, they did it all right, pretty much. But, like, me, on the other hand, I'm like, I barely watch any teen moms and, like, any young moms videos. So, I, like, the other day, I'm like, I have to find these like teen moms and these young moms and I like went through and I subscribed to like 10 plus channels of like these moms um these young moms and I've been loving it you guys like they've been inspiring me to like do certain videos um and yeah so hopefully I will get more videos up for you guys but I've been really really liking that girl like she I can I feel like we could be homegirls like if we ever wanted um if I ever met her which I wish I could meet her one day and be like hey I like you. <laughs> I hope that's not creepy at all, but um, yeah, I've been watching her. I just, I love her, her energy, you could say, like, I don't know. But yeah, Leah and I have been watching her videos, and she likes the little girl that she has. I don't really know their names yet because I just started watching them, so um, sorry about that. I know it sounds rude, like I don't know her name yet, but I'll get it because, you know, I'm, I just started watching them, and I'm, of course, like, I've watched a few of their videos, but... Yeah, just a little update. I have to move Ruby from the floor because she literally just knocked it on the floor. Let me show you guys. So now it is laundry time. Leah's dad, AJ, got him, got her this cute little ringer thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This cute little thing right here. And she's been loving it, huh? You like it? You like it a lot? Yeah? She like carries it everywhere with her. So, okay, what are you shopping for today? Go play with it over there. Go. Okay, now I have to do some laundry. I have to finish up my laundry because this is a disaster. Okay, guys, so I took a shower, finally. <laughs> um, what's it called? I don't know. <laughs> that, but I'm still doing laundry from earlier when I said I was going to do laundry. I legit still am doing a ton of laundry. So I've been doing laundry for like the past week and <laughs> it really worked out. But um, you guys want to hear a funny story? Okay, so while I was getting, re getting ready to do laundry... Leah was like really quiet behind this coffee table right here 
and I was like, I can't really see her from this point of view. Let me turn the camera around. So like, I'm right here, like folding clothes, right? And she's like right behind there, just sitting down. She's just sitting down. And she's quiet. I'm thinking she's watching TV because the TV's right there. So I'm thinking she's watching TV. So I grab like all the clothes. I'm going to start folding my clothes and then my phone is going to die. So I'm like, oh crap, I should probably go plug that in. So I get up to go plug my phone in and Leah's on the floor with the carpet with a whole bunch of baby formula everywhere. She had spilt the baby's formula everywhere. Everywhere. Like there was no formula left in the container. Well, actually, there was there was formula left. Um, I'm just exaggerating. There was a little bit of formula left. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like what? I'm like, why would you do this? So she goes to like time out while I'm cleaning all this formula up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy the girl some more formula because of course I can't just like send that home and be like, hey, sorry, my daughter spilled your formula. <laughs> Figure it out. Like formula is expensive. I'm not going to do that. So um, I'm like cleaning it up and thankfully I have enough for like maybe like two more bottles. So I'm like, I'm thinking I'm good. I'm going to wait till my sister comes home um, and ask her to go get some formula for me, run to the store and get some formula for me. So then I clean up the mess. I'm good, right? Like we get on time out and then I it was like, it's almost, I knew that was going to slam. It's almost time for my sister to come home. And guess what? I go look and look. I go look for my debit card that I left on the counter. I can't find my debit card anywhere. So I'm pretty sure my mom took it, maybe on accident. It was on the counter by her stuff. So she either took it maybe to check my account because you know how moms are. Um... I'm pretty sure she took it though because I left it on the counter like I saw it on the counter last night um so it has to be there so now I'm like stuck good thing the baby's taking a nap but I'm waiting till she comes home which should be like here anytime now um because I need a debit card and hopefully she has it hopefully she has a debit card if she doesn't then I don't know what I'm gonna do but I have to buy the baby some more formula because she she pretty much spilled it all over the carpet and it was like a full thing of formula and it wasn't like a little can of it it was like a boxes of formula that have like a little bit more i think so she dumped that everywhere everywhere so <sighs> fun times fun times she's taking a nap now thankfully she looks like an angel she looks like an angel but she's not. okay guys so my mom ended up did she what am i trying to say she did end up having my debit card you guys so it just, she's like so you'll learn the lesson of not leaving it everywhere. And I was like, yes, I mom. Agree. Yes, mom. So, yeah, so we're gonna go to the store. We're going to the store to get some Our formula. Apple. Yeah. So, oh, let's go. Oh gosh, the sun's gonna hit me. It's gonna hit. Me. I peed it. Okay, guys. So I'm laying down the kids down for bed. Leah's usually the last one to go to bed because it's Miss Leah. We went to church. Um, well, I went to a Bible study. We have a church, and that was super good. It was over, um, what is it called? Self-control. And um, it really touched home to me. And, yeah, it was just really good. Um, so, yeah, Anthony's already knocked out. He has his first snack day tomorrow. Um, you just want a dog. You just want a dog, you cutie. <laughs> Um, so he has snack day tomorrow, and we bought him um, a variety of goldfish, so he's gonna take those to school. You know what feels good? Do you know what feels good? Whenever you're like, um, okay, it might not feel good, but it helps you out with some stuff that you might be going through. So there's days where I'm like breaking out like crazy, like I have so many breakouts, which you guys can't see right now, um, because of course I'm wearing makeup, but there's days where I like have breakouts like all over my forehead, all over my cheeks, all over like... Whoa, crazy light all over like my chin um, and my nose and stuff like that. And I'm just like, why am I breaking out so bad? And then I'm like bloated and I'm in a bad mood and I'm sad and I'm angry and I'm, I don't even know what I'm feeling most of the time. Um, I've been feeling that for the past few days actually. For the past like, yeah, for the past few days. And usually the other weeks are usually, you know, what I've been going through. Okay. But I don't know, I've just been feeling really weird. And so I finally got yeah, my period yeah. so it feels good to just have a reason to like 
why you feel all these things you know what i mean like i don't know it just feels good to be like that's why i was feeling that and that's why i'm breaking out i don't know just anybody else can relate can anybody else relate like there's times where i'm just like why am i like this like i feel like i'm angry i feel like i'm sad <sighs> And then your period comes and you're like, that's why. And it kind of just justifies everything um, that you're feeling. So, you go stinky toes, stinky toes, stinky toes. <laughs> stinky toes, stinky toes. <laughs> so, yeah, we're getting ready to go to bed. And I'm actually going to stay up um, and do some mama things. Because mama needs to do her things. And this light is so bright. <laughs> okay, guys. Good night. <laughs> Recording. Germ. <laughs> oh, you didn't. <laughs> hi guys good morning this morning we are just downstairs playing this is the kids kind of play area and if i had one um like advice to give some teen parents or any parents that are living with their parents still is to find or to ask for a playroom or a play area if not the toys will be everywhere and i know that was like kind of like a big problem with my family well not a big problem but it's just like a problem because the kids will leave their toys everywhere and um and my mom is kind of like a clean freak not not really like she's she's flexible like with whenever things are on the floor but she likes a clean floor and the toys would just be everywhere and so it would kind of like get to her and um of course like i wouldn't feel like cleaning them up all the time because I would pick them up and they would just destroy it and so um, finally whenever we moved downstairs we were able to have like a little area where they like with their toys and stuff like that so I think that's like super important they're not allowed to bring their toys upstairs um, like big toys or like toys that involve a lot of parts like Legos they're not allowed to bring it upstairs um, all their toys stay down here um, and then we haven't had that problem very much um, so that's a lot of advice for you guys, but yeah, we're just down here playing with some toys. You guys, I just finished filming. I make a tour for you guys today, um, and so it's this makeup look right here. I had some extreme crazy lashes going on, but I take them off because I couldn't stand them. But I still love the look without lashes. Look how pretty it looks. I still love it. So that's that. Miss Ruby woke up from her nap. Um, hi Ruby. You eating an egg? Are you eating an egg? She's like, um, I just woke up, leave me alone. <laughs> her mom's gonna come for her in a little bit, but that's why I wake her up. The two kids are still sleeping. I need to go wake them up because we gotta go pick up Tonio, Tonio from school. And I still have to do a lot of cleaning. Oops, they actually all three fell asleep. So it was my chance to do a video, so I did it. Um, and my camera died half of the, like halfway through and I had to film the rest on my phone. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Hey guys, what's up? I am in the car picking up Tonio from school. It is so hot outside, you guys. I'm pretty sure it's like almost 90 degrees outside. If not 90, it is so hot. I was not expecting this heat today. Okay, like I was not expecting it at all. Um, but I'm picking up Tonio and it's so hot to the point where I'm like gonna go get some ice cream cone and make some french fries because I'm like so hungry. I walked outside to like it's okay, don't do it. It's okay, mama. It's okay. Um, I was gonna, like, I walked outside to like, turn on the car. Um, yeah, that was like, I had to wait like 10 minutes for the car to cool down because it was so hot in here. And I felt like I was just gonna pass out because it hasn't been this hot in a really long time. So, like, I thought it was gonna pass out, so I got myself some water. You guys see Leo's head? Hi, Leo's head! Guys, I just oh, this, this girl on in McDonald's was like, she was like, I watched your video, your makeup video. I really liked it. It was so sweet. I was like, thank you. <laughs> it was also kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I was talking to one of my old friends from like Kansas City, um, and I was like, they were like, they were like, um. So I see that you do like YouTube and whatever. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And it's so weird. But whenever I know people, I don't, it's not that I don't like them. It's just weird whenever they watch my videos because I'm so like extra personal on my videos. Like extra, extra personal. Like I tell you guys things that I don't even tell like my family. Like, no. 
Um, so it's like so personal to me. So I feel like whenever I am like on my YouTube channel, whenever people that know me watch my YouTube channel, like even my sister, like whenever my sister watches me, I freak out because I'm like, go to the other room, turn that off because I don't want to hear my voice. I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, it's just funny and it's weird. But they were like, what's it called? They were like, why? That's so weird. I'm like, I know it's weird. I don't know why it happens. It just it happens. I don't know why. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Tony. I accident. Oh, yes. <laughs> I would love it. Thank you. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. I have to get everything situated. Oh, thank you too. Here you go, sis. Hold it good, hold it good. They gave me a drink. Oh, I feel so special. They gave me a drink, you guys. I feel special. But it was made by it today, but still, it's special. Okay, guys, let's eat up our ice creams and let's go home and enjoy the, this really hot day. I'm probably going to go to a soccer game today. Yeah, probably gonna go to a soccer game, hang out there. I don't know about the kids. I think the kids, I think they might go with their dad. Just maybe. I'm not too sure yet. I'll turn this way. I'll turn this way. Ah, I really cannot eat cold food. My teeth are so sensitive. <laughs> They're so sensitive. It hurts. Why did I get an ice cream cone? I don't know. Show me your ice cream cone. Oh my god, it's so tiny compared to my huge ice cream cone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Today we are currently running errands with my mama. I'm current. I'm running errands with my mama. She's paying some bills today. Why am I putting on my table? I'm parked. We're parked. Okay, but anyways, we're running some errands. I have Leah and the baby here with me. Leah's back there knocked out. Poor. I hate whenever they're like that. Okay, that's better. Oh, that hurt my shoulder. But yeah, we're running some errands. It's noon. I'm storming. I'm storming. I want some Qdoba. I want some Qdoba. And I really, 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 really like my makeup today. So, so I have the baby back there as well. He's eating some food right now. So. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. There's nothing really fun and exciting going on today. Are you guys enjoying these phone vlogs? Like, legit, I'm doing it off the phone. <laughs> I think this is all you guys are going to get this week because I haven't charged my camera yet. But I did I did record and make it a tour for you guys yesterday. So, I mean, y'all are getting some quality footage, okay? Not a lot, but just uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I applied for, um, today I applied for a uh, position at a hospital for a receptionist kind of so hopefully i get that job the only bad thing is that i don't have a phone number yet because um, my phone my other phone broke and i'm using my sister's which i needed to unblock and all that stuff so i don't i unblocked it and so now i need to get like a new phone number with a different like company that's related to at t because it has to be like i don't know how to explain it but it has to be like the same company or owned by at t or whatever whatever but yeah so i'm gonna go look for that today and hopefully i get a phone number by today because i've had a phone number for like the whole week and what if people would like what if companies are gonna talk to me and i can't like i answer the phone because it's not available mama what are you eating what is it casaria yeah. yummy delicious burrito What's up guys? I'm turning down the music in my mom's car because it's too loud. And I'm gonna talk to my friends. What's up friends? So we went to the mall. We went to go pay some, some credit card bills. But guess what? Everything is done online now so you can't go to like stores and pay bills anymore I guess. But um, on other news I went to go get a new, what's it called? Like a little thing for my phone. So I got this. This is a SIM card. And then I got the $30 refill card. So excited for this whenever I saw this. I went to TJ Maxx, right? Hold on, Cindy. I went to TJ Maxx and I found. Guess what I found? I found 
the Kat Von D shade and light palette you guys shade and light palette what for 20 bucks it was 20 bucks and it's originally like 32 around there and it's brand spanking new and I feel so good I've always wanted the shade and light palette by Kat Von D but I could never ever find it you guys this is a pretty good deal for this too because like what look at this beauty here's the palette guys and it's so pretty look at this hi friends I'm recording off my phone so oh my gosh I haven't even touched it or anything oh yes it feels so nice you guys there's hope oh yeah that's like definitely girl I'm excited to play with this my sister's gonna be excited to play with this we're both gonna be excited to play with this. Yay! Leah's wanting to get out of your car seat, but she can't because we're about to go. We're about to go, anyways. <laughs> I needed a new sponge, so, like a beauty sponge. So I just decided to get one there and hope for the best because honestly, I hope for the best in everything. And if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. So this one was $3.99 at TJ Maxx. And um, this is what it looks like it comes in this clear thing. Oh, Leah's trying really hard to get out of there. Mama, just wait a second. Mama? Oh, there comes my mom mouth here. Um, and it does feel kind of hard, but it also feels like it could work. So I can make it work if it doesn't work well. It's fine. It's okay. You know what I mean? Guys, so we are here. I'm so tired. Like, I need some coffee. I didn't drink coffee before I woke up. So, or before I got here. But the kids are eating some cereal. You're done? Eat your cereal. You were hungry? Eat your cereal. Um, but yeah, I'm just like a zombie right now because I haven't had my coffee. <gasps> but it's almost done. It's almost done. I got it's almost done. Guys, it's so pretty outside today. It's so beautiful outside. What do you need? Am I doing it? Okay. Hi! It's such a pretty day. We're outside. It's such a beautiful day. I'm actually going to do my makeup out here. Um, and because I feel like I just need to put myself together. Um, hold on, I gotta grab your hair. She's not letting me grab her hair. So the kids and I are playing out here for a little bit while I do that. Should we do a first impressions? I mean, on camera, my makeup looks pretty good on camera, but I feel like in person, I'm looking at the mirror right now. So I use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette um, to highlight and to contour, um, or to set my under eye concealer, and then to, high, um, to bronze up and to contour. Um, and I mean it's really good I like it it's really creamy which I do like but um, like around my nose area let me turn the camera because I'm pretty sure you guys can see it better okay guys so like around my nose area if you guys can see I have lots of texture around there and um, a lot of like pores if you guys can see that um, and whenever I use a really creamy concealer it will sorry guys I'm out of focus it will what's it called like a really creamy not concealer if i use like really creamy products it sinks into this and like makes it more noticeable if i use like the airspun trend um airspun um naturally neutral loose powder i can get away with my texture but whenever i use something really creamy it just kind of looks bad and then it also like it didn't really set underneath my eyes it just kind of made everything kind of crease so i don't think i'll be using the highlight to like set my under eye anymore um i think i'll just be using it maybe to like highlight my nose and my forehead and my chin but not underneath the eyes because it didn't really work there but other than that it's like beautiful my bronzer looks beautiful okay guys we're shopping hi sissy it, oh no what? yeah Ring around the rosy. Uh, 
Hey guys, so I want to show you guys what I got yesterday. Um, it's like a little haul. Um, but I got everything that I got was on sale. Um, and that's why I got it. I didn't get anything. I usually go to the mall and look for everything that's on sale. If it's not on sale, I will not get it. Um, because I just don't like to spend that much money. So, I got these little shoes for Anthony. And they were, um, on sale for three bucks, you guys. I got these shoes for three dollars at Payless. And they were originally $29.99. But I got them for three bucks. So, this is the box that they came in. And they were three bucks. They're so cute, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They are just on sale. So, and they were his size. I got size 12 in those. And then I got a whole bunch of pants because he is growing. Like, he just went through a growth spurt all of a sudden. And all his jeans that didn't fit, that fit him a few months ago. I had, We had bought him a few jeans for the school year, and he's usually a size 4. Um, but he, he, he hit a growth spurt, and none of his jeans, none of his dressing pants fit him. So... I decided to go out and buy him some new pants for the school year, for winter, um, and for fall. So, I'll show you guys what I got. I was going to tell you guys. Um, I went to Gymboree, um, and our our store here in um, town is closing. So, they had, like, a huge closing um, sale. So, I got a few jeans, and um, I got 60% off the markdown price. So, um, it was really good. I got five jeans for like $45, which I know you can go a little bit cheaper, but these jeans are great jeans and pants. Okay, so I got him these khakis, um, and the, re the reason why I like these is they're like comfortable. So you can like tighten the waist with these strings that are real. And so they're just simple and cute, and these he can wear right now because they're not double lined for winter. So I really like this one. Um, he might wear this one today for church. And then he got some blue ones, some navy ones, in the same style. And remember, I got 60% off of that. So, um, I mean, that's a great deal. And they're just blue. They're the same ones as the khaki ones. They're just blue. And then he got some real winter ones. Um, and then these winter ones are the ones that are double-lined. So... He has this one, and these were pretty cheap. This one was $15, $16, but I got like 60% off as well. And I mean, they're just cute and casual. Um, and then I got him these pretty, um, what is it? Um, like blue. Hey, can you get out of the light? Come over here. I got him these pretty blue ones. Hold on. You need to get over here. Thank you. Do so I got him these and they're aligned as well. So they'll be nice and warm for him in the winter. And I got him another pair, but he actually wore those and then he peed on them tonight. So So or last night, so that kind of sucks. But they were they were the ones that had like fleece on them. He wanted to wear those because he just thought it was like a blanket around his legs. So he wore those to sleep and then he ended up peeing on them. So so I went with like my other two best friends um, and um, we all went to Payless and it was like a BOGO kind of thing. And so my friend actually paid for my purse um, and it, I think she got it for like half off. So she, I probably got it for like five bucks. Um, so yeah, but it was originally $10. So it was even on sale and 10 bucks I paid for this bag because it's a really nice bag. And I got it at Payless. So that's all I got you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. I didn't get anything for Leah because Leah has honestly just gotten so much. She has enough shoes. She has that girl gets a whole bunch of clothes. Um, so I didn't really get her anything else. She has enough dresses, enough pants. She's good to go. But poor Anthony, he just went through like a growth spurt, which was insane. Which I'm pretty sure Leah's gonna go through anytime now. Anytime now, she's gonna go through that. But right now, she has enough for her little age, um, and she doesn't need no more. Guys, I love me some rainy days. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. Um, It is so beautiful, and I think this is where I'm going to end it off, you guys. Um, I'm drinking some coffee. I came out here just to smell the smell of, like, cold rain.
so pretty. It just makes me emotional. I'm so emotional. Okay, I need to stop. Um, but yeah, guys. So I'm doing great. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. I tried to vlog a little um, if my spirit's higher. So like I said before, I apologize for being all down in my other weekly vlogs. Um, so I've just decided to be joyful. So yeah. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, we will talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye, guys. No! <laughs> uh, uh, the rain's cold. Mom, can I jump in that puddle? Mommy, can I jump in that puddle? Mom, it's <laughs> <laughs>